Okay, in this video, I'm basically showing you what the title says, how to install a Japanese language pack on Windows 10. So, just to start off, um, if I were to go to translate.google.com or use any of the other better ones, I could, you know, type in hi for yes, and it won't read it, like it won't type it all, type it in Japanese for me even if I change the language here in Google. So it's because it's all about Windows, your keyboard is not just gonna automatically do it just because you wanna type in Japanese. You wanna type, uh, you wanna pull up the search, type add a language to this device. Or you can go through the control panel and do it that way. And once you type add a language, this should show up. Let me move in too fast. Uh, you click add a language and then you scroll over and look for Japanese. It will tell you that it started downloading some stuff. Ooh. Ignore that part if you see that. It doesn't mean anything. Uh, you click here and you go options. And you can download the basic typing and you can download the handwriting pack. I'm guessing that message was for that restart machine. Uh, it should work without that, but if you want to listen to the computer, go ahead. It doesn't matter. Uh, you can download the language pack as well. This is just telling me there's more new features. Uh, you don't necessarily need the handwriting package. I'm just, it's just going to do it anyway. Uh, there's more. <laughs> there's a speech package as well, but I'm pretty sure that's just for like Cortana talking to her in Japanese. I'm not going to use that feature. Uh, you can click add a keyboard, but it's only going to show that. Uh, here we go back a little bit. Let me see. Okay, now, some people run into the problem where they're just like, okay, I just installed the new language package, but it's still not allowing me to type in Japanese. Hi, still shows up as Hasi. <laughs> so, the way to get around that is, well, once you install it, you can select Whatever language is here, you can click on that, and then you just click Japanese. Now, there's a problem people normally run into with this. And basically, when they select Japanese, and they start typing, say I wanted to type hi now, it still shows regular English letters. It doesn't show it in hiragana, and that's a problem. So the way to get around that is to right-click the taskbar, and click show touch keyboard button because normally there's a message at the bottom of your screen that says IME is not enabled or IME disabled well that message will disappear and you'll be able to get this here it's right next to the IME here how mine is set to Japanese the little A if you click on the A it'll change to a hiragana A and now you should be able to type hi and get yes. <laughs> well, it changed back. Let me click on it again. All right, now I should be able to type hi. There we go. Hi. So now you can practice your Japanese here. And it also works with things like that. Like, it just changed it to... Um, type wakarimas, you see the regular uh, kanji there for wakari, and you have the hai in katakana here. <laughs> 